In this video, I'll go over the different rotations of energy overflow so fast. Now before I get into it, I do have a few disclaimers. Energy overflow is a swiftness class, so depending on your stats, you might have to readjust your skill rotations. In addition to that, the level of cooldown gems and your engraving choices can change things up as well. I'm also going to try to not compare the damages of these rotations, as they all have their pros and cons depending on the situations you're in. All of the demonstrations I'll be doing is with 1523 swiftness stats and with level 7 cooldown gems. This is the first build I'll go over. The T-Blast Shadowbreaker build. This is a popular build in the NA release because of the guide on max roll. It's an excellent starter build that has up to 3 weak point damage skills and with a good balance of range and melee. Here's the rotation. And from here on, you just pretty much go full piano and use your damage spells when you have your ready attack buff from either energy release or flash step. The downside to this build is that while Shadowbreaker does great damage, it doesn't have any immunities as a back attack melee skills, so you're prone to getting interrupted by a random tail swipe or something. And with the range buff on Merciless Pummel recently, it's a bit awkward to pair the two melee spells. As for T-Blast, its tripod don't scale as well compared to other spells in this video. Next build, we have the OG Korean version favorite, the Crippling Barrier Shadowbreaker build. This one embodies a melee brawler type of soul fist. If you prefer to be up close to the boss, this is the build for you. As for Crippling Barrier, don't let it fool you. It is much more than a Chaos Dungeon spell. With decent tripods, it can achieve some crazy single target damage. You can also hold this spell to fill in any damage gaps you have in the energy release buff window. Here is the rotation. The cons for this spell is that, well, you have more melee spells. You can't do much when a boss zones you out when you're already attacked is burning. Which leads us to the next build which has gotten a lot of traction after the balance patch. This right here is the energy blast plus crippling barrier build. It's the one I personally use and it's also becoming more common on some of the top energy overflow sofas on Loa. This build has the same ranged melee balance as the max row build. And the tripod of these two spells scale extremely well into the late game and they both offer some type of immunity. This is my rotation. Some downside that I see in this build would be the long cooldown of E-Blast. While this range spell hits extremely hard after the buff, it has a really long cooldown. So until you get a decent cooldown gem or complete your Dominion Fang set, you won't see yourself casting it much. Lastly, I'm just gonna quickly go over this build. I'm calling it the Hitmaster Soul Fist build. Now I'm not saying that you can't run Hitmaster on the last build that I mentioned, but this one in particular has both of the long range heavy hitters, which really lets you deal damage even if you're at a distance from the boss. Here's a quick demonstration. And that's it. I want to stress that you shouldn't worry too much about executing these rotations perfectly. Lost Ark boss movements can always throw a wrench in your inputs and you have to be more adaptive on how to deal damage. And you also shouldn't keep your skills on cooldown waiting on the perfect time to do your 6 second rotation. Remember, we're piano players, just embrace it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask me by leaving a comment below. Or you can follow me on Twitch and ask me live. I'll be streaming my Legion raids every weekend at 7pst.